I'm Matt Heineman. I made a film called City of Ghosts. I'm here with my friend Shell Schwartz, whom I've never met, but we share a lot in common. I've made Trophy, that is in competition this year in Sundance uh, documentary, and I'm here with Matt, who's made City of Ghosts. Plural. City of Ghosts. Multiple ghosts. <laughs> How'd you get into this? Uh, how did I get into this? You mean like filmmaking? Yeah, I've, I actually have no idea. How did you get into uh, this? I, uh, I was a photojournalist for like 15 years. Canon made that thing called the 5D, which made video look cool in my camera. And I always, I always loved photography, but I always thought it was a little bit too minimalistic in certain stories. It was amazing to capture stuff in that iconic tears out moment, it's never gonna change way, which is sometimes the most powerful way to tell a story, um, but sometimes it's not. And so I always kind of thought about film and did a short or two, but I always slipped back to the comfort zone. And then I was in Juarez for a couple of years photographing and the picture got all over the place and the story was told, but I couldn't tell the cultural story. I couldn't tell the story that I was trying to tell, and to some degree, very much I think the story you were later trying to tell in a different way. Um, and I even like, I, I did the news magazines, and then I went to National Geographic magazine, which is like the photographer's dream. I got, yeah. I got that, and I, I went to them with a pitch to say, I don't want to talk about the death. I want to talk about the culture it's affecting the teens. And they loved it. And then I did the whole story, and I felt I didn't tell the story. <laughs> Yeah, it just couldn't do what you could do in moving images, was letting people really have their voice, was observed verite documentary filmmaking. So how about you? How did you get? Uh... I was in college. I studied history um, and had no idea what I wanted to do with my life. Um, so then I was sort of sit around and figure out what to do with my life. And uh, three of my best friends and I hatched up this idea to drive around the US for three months to try to understand what our, gener our generation was about. Um, bought a video camera, taught myself how to shoot, um, and through the process of this journey, just fell in love with filmmaking. And there's this one moment, um, I was in New Orleans three months after Katrina, on mm. the, uh, and just going to the Ninth Ward for the first time with the residents who hadn't been back in their homes, and had this like, very, very spiritual moment. Um, where I was sort of in this really intimate moment with this guy who was seeing his home for the first time after the hurricane and just being able to capture the emotion of, of that moment for him in real time uh, without a narrator, without anything, just me and him. And that sort of, I, I always look back upon that moment as like that's sort of when I knew I wanted to do this for the rest of my life. So what made you want to do this film that and congratulations on being back to Sundance. But you as well. Thank you. you. As well. Um, so City of Ghosts, my, my new film, um, came about sort of like my other films. It kind of smacked me in the face, and I wasn't expecting to make it. I didn't have that time to make it. Um, but you know, I'd been very curious about what was happening in, in the Middle East and. Um, you know, in particular with, with ISIS, um, and looking at different ways to tell that story. And, and when I heard about this group, uh, Raqqa's being slaughtered silently, I thought it was a really fascinating lens through which to enter this, this topic. And it took a little bit of time to gain their trust and, and get the green light to start filming with them. But um, once I did, I, you know, it was a very, very fascinating journey and, and like, you know, like Cartel Land and like other films sort of ended up in a place that I didn't necessarily expect. Um, yeah. Tell me about you. How, how did Trophy start? Uh, trophy. Trophy started that I was... So, f uh, first of all, I'm co-directing it with uh, Christina Claggio. Um And Trophy started with us sitting around and me not knowing anything, which is how a lot of my good stories start. But basically... Uh, picture kind of flew up on social media as I was going for a Fred and it was uh, a woman 
posing was a dead giraffe. And I, I grew up in Israel, so we, we just don't hunt. I wasn't exposed to it. I've been in a lot of conflict. As a photographer, I don't particularly connect to guns. And so I had the immediate, like, whoa. And I had no clue that you can go online and uh, buy kind of whatever hunt you want, being a rhino, an elephant, a lion. Mm -hmm. It just hit me over the head. And I just thought it was amazing that it's such a commercial driven thing and I started just popping on websites and basically seeing menus of like hunts and it got me really pissed um, so I went to this convention to kind of check it out I wanted to check the water see if there's a short there's a film like we often do and everything spun a little bit for me because on one hand that making an animal to a product really like jumps into your face. But then they started to talk about conservation, which actually boiled my blood even more. But then I also started to understand I don't know anything about this world. Um, it, it's, it's like abortion, or it's one of these subjects that you're pretty much like have a really strong gut reaction when you come in. And that's OK. I get it. I have those on different issues. But the more we got into this, the more we were like, we should have more conversation here. It's not as black as I thought it is going in. And so that's kind of what we want the viewer to explore. With that said, you know, it's, it's hard to see some of the scenes we've seen. So I definitely said too much, but that's no, fine. Yeah. I don't I'm, 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 my mom's hoping for me to make my next one about bees. That's, that's, she, my mom says flowers. Uh, yeah, there we go. Maybe we can do it uh, Maybe together. we can do bees, bees and, flowers and flowers tie well together. There you go. That'll be great.